from Skip Pope Stadium on the campus of Sequoia High School in Canton, Georgia. Welcome to the SDH Game of the Week presented by our friends at Kaiser Permanente. Kaiser Permanente, Thrive, Lassiter coming to visit Sequoia. Lassiter coming into this match with a record of 5-0-1, the only blemish, the goalless draw with Walton. That happened back on February the 11th, coming in. 5-0 win over Riverwood. 2-1 win over North Cobb. At Woodstock, a win 8-0. 4-2 at Alatoona. 2-1 at Roswell. For Sequoia, Chiefs coming in with a record of 2-3, losing out of the blocks to Pope. Then it was uh, Forsyth Central, a loss there as well. Then they rebounded, winning two of their last three, winning at with Cherokee 1-0 here at Skip Pope, a loss to North Cobb by the score of 3-0, and a 3-1 win over North Springs, which leads us into today. As you picture the game in your mind's eye, homestanding Sequoia in their black and gold striped outfits, white numerals, they'll be going in the first 40 minutes from the right to the left. Lassiter in their road whites with their garnet numerals, garnet shorts, they'll be going from left to right, white socks as well for Lassiter. Starting lineups, Lassiter coming in with a 4-3-3 in their formation, and starting is Claire Carson in net. Also, it is Campbell Stoll, Kelsey Crozier, McLean Dixon, Afia Rahman, Nina Watts, Rhea Kamdar, Jillian Kluth, her sister Maddie, Peyton Joyner, and Ashlyn Huey. We'll go over the Sequoia starting lineup with head coach Nick Brown as they are active in the match. Lassiter, early in possession. On the near side, Rhea Kamdar. Pass intended for McLean Dixon. Intercepted by Sequoia. Pressure by Lassiter defensively. Now working their way up the right-hand side, it is Sequoia. In pursuit, Ashlyn Huey knocks the ball out, and it's going to be a throw a little more than 40 yards away from net for Sequoia on offense. Madison Rejecki, one of the captains, one of the three co-captains for Sequoia, had possession. Defense was there. McLean Dixon now in possession. She'll send it down the right-hand side, chasing after it. Both the Trojans and the Chiefs, last touched by Sequoia, and it will be a throw about 20 yards or so from net here on the near side. Rhea Kamdar doing the not be kept by Peyton Hoffman, the freshman. Early chance here coming in and off and in the net. A minute 52 in. The entry pass just outside of the six, and it's 1-0 to the Trojans. Cross came from just outside the 18 on the near side. Camped out right just outside the six were the Lassiter Trojans. Lassiter sends it into the back of the net, and just like that, Lassiter... Ranked number one in 6A. They are on the board with a goal, and it is 1-0. Two minutes and 22 seconds in for the Lassiter Trojans. Defending 6A champs out of the blocks early. Chasing after win number six. Have not lost so far this year. Jillian Kluth. Lovely through ball on the cross. Just outside the 18, and... The flick by Ashlyn Huey, just outside the top of the six, picked up by Clara Williams to keep it at 1-0. Head coaches Robbie Galvin, the head coach for Lassiter, and Nick Brown, the head coach for Sequoia. Sequoia coming into this a little shorthanded. We'll be getting into that story as we go here. Lassiter again on the charge, about 40 yards from goal. Through ball intended for Peyton Joyner, picked off by... The defense of Sequoia coming back the other way. Peyton Hoffman. Pass into the logo. Over on the far side now. Trying to gather a little space. Madison Rejecki. Two players there for the Trojans. Trojans end up with possession on the left-hand side. Defense by 
Marin McCarty, one of the senior captains, wins the ball back for Sequoia, about 40 yards from goal. Going for the long cross over to the near side. Peyton Hoffman picks it up, but she can't keep it in on the near touchline. It's going to be a throw for the Lassiter Trojans. We mentioned Sequoia coming into this one shorthanded. Brenna Vickery injured, one of the six seniors for Nick Brown. Vickery injured, will not play. Ava Richards, one of the sophomores, she is out with an illness. She won't play. And Alina Seals, one of the freshmen that is a part of the Sequoia group, she is injured as well. So Nick Brown coming into this one shorthanded. Catching up with him before the match, he knows that he's going up against a very, very strong team, but he wants to see how he can compare right now. Centering pass. Couldn't be handled by Williams, and the shot is in. Peyton Joyner. Peyton Joyner at the 440 mark. Makes it 2-0 for Lassiter. And Lassiter this season has a lot of different goal scorers. Frankly, 13. 13 different players have scored for the Trojans. And when you caught up with Robbie Galvin, he literally said, goals come from anywhere and anyone. That is the fourth on the season for Joyner. Joyner had the tie with three goals with Ashlyn Huey, but that gives her the temporary lead. For goals scored for the Trojans so far. So Peyton Joyner with her fourth on the season and four minutes and 40 seconds in, it's 2-0. Now here in the sixth minute early on, Lassiter working their way down the right-hand side looking for Joyner again. Joyner switched to the left. Through ball is there, and the chance is just missed. The connection was there with Ashlyn Huey. Just a little ahead of Ashlyn Huey there as they were chasing after the third goal in short order, about 40 seconds after they had scored the second goal. And it sticks at 2-0. Once again, talking about Sequoia, they only have the six, the two senior co-captains, Marin McCarty and Savannah Harvey, in the starting lineup today. But six of the starters, underclassmen and the poke, would have been wide to the near post, but the flag is up offside on Peyton Joyner, so we stay at 2-0 here in the seventh minute. Three juniors starting for Sequoia. Ava Fry, Madison Rejecki, Caitlin Schellenbarger. Five sophomores on the roster, four of them in the starting 11 for Nick Brown. Blakely Freeman, Ava Smith, Avery Smith, no relation, and Aubrey Sykes. And then you have Peyton Hoffman, the freshman, getting some minutes, getting the start today for Sequoia as well. And Clara Williams in between the sticks, a sophomore. So a lot of young talent for the Chiefs. Nick Brown says the future is bright. With a lot of underclassmen that are a part of the roster. After this match, about 7.30, we'll have the boys match between Sequoia and Lasseter. Jason Longshore on the call for that one. Once again, thanks to our friends at Kaiser Permanente for sponsoring the games of the week and all of our high school programming here on SDH. Rhea Kamdar down the right-hand side here in the eighth minute, looking centrally, looking for Peyton Joyner. Joyner thought she had a passing partner off her right shoulder. She now does three ball. Once again, the flag is up. The idea was there, timing just a little off between Peyton Joyner and Ashlyn Huey. And Huey offside. So it will go over to Sequoia. When you look at the Lassiter roster, we mentioned the 13 different players that have scored. You'll see two different keepers without hesitation for Robbie Galvin today. It will be Claire Carson, it will be Malia Lodwick. Split time throughout the year. For those of you that remember your history, Lodwick was the hero from the state championship game against Cambridge last year, saving four PKs as the game went to PKs. So the strength between the sticks is definitely there for Lassiter. Three sets of sisters on the team, believe it or not. The Carsons, Susie and Claire. The Cluths, Jillian and Maddie. 
and the Dorseys, Naya and Simone, three sets of sisters for Lassiter. Camdar once again in possession, through ball, looking for McLean Dixon. She finds it just outside the 18. Cuts it back, working centrally, once again looking for Joyner. Joyner tries to settle and turn. Gets under it just a bit too much and a little bit too much air, and it ends up an easy grab for Clara Williams here in the 10th minute. 2 0 Lassiter. Two goals when just about two and a half minutes apart. That includes Peyton Joyner's fourth of the season. And we are at 2 0. Lassiter in possession, working out of the back. Maddie Kluth. Just this side of the Sequoia logo. Pass intended for McLean Dixon down the right hand side. Defense was there. For Sequoia in the form of Peyton Hoffman. It'll be a throw for Camdar. About 35 yards from goal here on the near side. Camdar finds Joyner. Joyner with the chip. And the shot is just wide by Jillian Kluth. She wound up from about 20 yards. Misses it to the near post. And it'll be a goal kick as we're now right on the 11th minute with Lasseter with the two goals on the board. Mentioned players out for various reasons this time of year. Multiple sports going on. Robbie Galvin and Lasseter getting folks back at the right time. Sierra Branch, Malia Lodwick play basketball. They're now back full-time with the soccer team. They lost uh, Lasseter girls hoops lost in round one of the state tournament. But the girls hoops team made the state tournament for the first time in 11 years. But now Galvin has everybody back. His roster is at full song as they are getting into the heart of region play. Throwing once again for Lassiter, Camdar, about 35 yards from goal, once again here near side. Back and forth with McLean Dixon. Dixon works her way through three defenders, winding up Peyton Joyner, thought about it. Three defenders closing in on her just outside the 18. Sequoia clear, but all the way back to the logo, playing center field Campbell Stoll, regaining possession, is Lassiter, Peyton Joyner. About 25 yards from goal or so, trying to find a partner, could not. Once again, three Sequoia defenders were there to close down on her quickly to clear, but not all the way out. Maddie Kluth had possession. Through ball by Kelsey Crozier intended for Huey down the left-hand side. Chiefs are there to defend. But they can't clear. Once again, McLean Dixon has to work her way through two defenders. Charging through, easy one hopper from Kelsey Crozier. Grabbed by Clara Williams here in the 12th minute. And we're still at 2-0. Williams sends it up into the air, but camped out right on the logo. Campbell stole five yards inside her half. Gaining possession for Lasseter once again. Sequoia's defense standing tough. Peyton Hoffman gaining possession. The back and forth continues. Sequoia sends it 10 yards inside the Lassiter half. Trojans regaining possession. Pass to the near side, Rhea Camdar. Got a good 20 yards worth of room. Gets it past McLean, finds Jillian Kluth. Kluth into the middle. Chance is there and sent away. Charging was Peyton Joyner just outside the six, but there to defend and turn it into a corner. Sarah Korsheen playing emergency defense for the Chiefs. Jillian Kluth will take the corner. Hand in the air, an outswinger with the right, looking toward the penalty spot. One hop off of the turf, trying to settle it down. Couldn't do it. Sequoia clears. A couple of quick hops. Campbell Stoll was there to try to regain possession for Lassiter. Sequoia down their right-hand side. Can't keep the ball for very long. As Ashlyn Huey was there to try to win it back for Lassiter, and she does. 
Pass over to the near side, McLean Dixon. She could not get past Ava Smith of Sequoia. So it'll be a throw for Lassiter. And Camdar will be doing the duties here in the 14th minute. Campbell stole. Passing back, but then centrally. Peyton Joyner, 30 yards from goal. Through ball is there for McLean Dixon. Dixon wants to shoot with the right, and she does! McLean Dixon in the 15th minute gets it past Clara Williams, and it is now 3 0 Lassiter. Great through ball to spring McLean Dixon. So now it's three on the board here as we turn in toward the 16th minute. Once again, the variety of players that have scored so far for the Trojans. Joyner and Dixon, once again, adding to that mix at 3-0 here in the first 16 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon and this evening for the Soccer Down Here Games of the Week. John Nelson here. You can catch us on the, the SDH app and SoccerDownHere.net. Games on Tuesdays and Fridays here in the regular season. The flag has been up for quite some time. Finally recognized after about 10 seconds. Coming back to play it from an offside position, so it'll end up back in Sequoia's possession. 25 and a half minutes and counting here in the first half. Once again, coming into the match, Sequoia with a record of two and three, had, having won two of their last three to get to this matchup with Sequoia. Lost to Pope. Lost to Forsyth Central, then winning two of three, beating Cherokee and North Springs, losing to North Cobb. To get to this point of the schedule in region play, Camdar stood up briefly, sticks with it, and she's got a lot of room. Peyton Hoffman tries to challenge. Does enough just to disrupt Camdar from trying to cross it into the 18 down the right-hand side. Goes over the end line, it'll be a goal kick for Clara Williams in Sequoia. 16th minute, 3-0. Two goals in just about two and a half minutes gave Lasseter a very quick 2-0 lead. And then with 25-57 ago, about a minute and a half ago on the clock, McLean Dixon with the goal, the senior forward, to make it 3-0. Clara Williams looking for a target down the right-hand side. Found Ashlyn Huey instead. Huey knocks it out of bounds, so it's another throw for Sequoia as they work their way up the far touch line. Possession then lost, and now charging back down the left-hand side was Lassiter briefly. Sequoia's defense gains the ball back, but they can't get it out of their own half. Camdar was there, but then flipping possession was Allie Williams, the senior. Back and forth continues here briefly. Crozier looking for Huey down the left-hand side. Missed the target. So it'll be a throw for Sequoia. 23 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. 17th minute. 3-0. Defending champs in 6A. Currently 5-0-1. Ranked top of the class in 6A. And you're seeing why with the dominance that they have shown here in the Sequoia half here in the first 15, 16 minutes. Maddie Kluth, possession, just inside the attacking half. Two passes combined, and the Sequoia defense is there to regain possession down the right-hand side. Madison Rejecki, a couple of hops, and it ends up in Claire Carson's hands, her first touch of the match. Here in the 18th minute. Lassiter, quick passing up the left-hand side, trying to 
closed the gap was Avery Smith for Sequoia. But up the middle was Jillian Cluth. Cluth loses possession, ends up in the hands of Clara Williams for Sequoia. Down the middle of the pitch, a couple of hops into the attacking half, but the only folks there are Lassiter, Rhea Kamdar, now in possession. Just crossing into the attacking half, up and over a couple of lines. Chasing after it, Haley Jean-Baptiste. She was looking for her first touch. She couldn't get there in time. Goes over the inline goal kick. So Robbie Galvin going to his bench a couple of times early on here, as did Nick Brown and Sequoia. Seeing a couple of different faces here in the first 15 minutes or so. Jillian Cluth looking for Simone Dorsey and sliding out to get there before Dorsey could was Clara Williams. Confident she could get there before Simone Dorsey, and she absolutely did to keep it at 3 0. 19th minute, halfway through the 19th minute. Once again, the pressure of Lasseter regains possession quickly. Maddie and Jillian Cluth combining. Simone Dorsey. Centering pass, chested down, cleared off the line and out, but not totally. Outside the 18, deflected once and twice, but the shot ends up right on as they tried for a second chance. A little chaotic inside the 18 there. Chaotic defending for Sequoia to try to keep it at 3-0, and they finally do after the second chance was launched right at Clara Williams. Once again, Lassiter into the middle. Jean-Baptiste with the right. It's deflected, and it will be a corner here on the near side. Four defenders there in the middle, and it hit one of them square on the knee. It was Allie Williams as a part of that group, and it goes off of Williams in very short range. and goes out, and it's going to be a corner here on the near side. Jillian Cluth looking toward the penalty spot. Sent back to her off the deflection. Charges in with the left up in the air and in off the deflection. And it's four. Jillian Cluth had the shot. Clara Williams had the save. Cleared off the line as it was popped up into the air. And just past the halfway point of the second half, that's the fourth goal on the board for Lassiter. It looked like Simone Dorsey was the one who was finally getting the chance to send it into the back of the net. So once again, we get different goal scorers. Third different goal scorer in the last three goals that have been on the board for the Trojans to make it 4-0 at the halfway point here the first half. Pressure from Lassiter trying to win the ball back. Caitlin Schellenbarger pressured. Last hit, Lassiter. So Schellenbarger with the throw. Substitutions coming in for both teams. Two for the Trojans, one for the Chiefs. Looks like Rhea Kamdar will be taking a bit of a break. Brooke Brantley in the game, got her first touch recently. Schellenbarger tried to find an outlet to her right, did not. Turnover, Jean-Baptiste in the middle. Tries to go through ball over on the far side as she was looking for Jillian Cluth. Too much, too much on the pass, and it'll end up being a throw deep in their defensive half for Sequoia. 18 and a half minutes and counting in the first half. Throwing on the far side. Rejecki trying to work the ball up. The right-hand side, last touch by Lassiter. Throw for Sequoia, pressure by the Trojans. Sequoia 
advancing up the pitch about 10 yards at a time. Twenty yards inside their own half. Lasseter trying to once again regain possession quickly, and they do. Mallory Whitgen had possession initially, but Sequoia's defense is there. Pass intended into the middle, looking for Rejecki. Rejecki fights for it, going past two Lasseter players, regains possession for Sequoia down the right hand side. Just inside the attacking half, looking centrally. First chance for Peyton Hoffman, about 40 yards from goal. Lassiter's defense closed down on her quickly, and they regain possession. Whitgen, in the middle, through the logo to John Baptiste. John Baptiste was looking down the left hand side for a passing partner. Sequoia's defense was there. 20 yards now inside the attacking half. Sequoia working down their left-hand side, but Lasseter is there once again. Susie Carson centrally, her first action. Looking for Simone Dorsey down the right-hand side. She gains it just outside the 18, cuts it back to her left foot, wants to shoot. She does. Clara Williams with the big save, full extension to keep it at four. Dorsey cut it back just to get inside the 18. You could tell that she wanted to, to just set up her left. Launched with the left. Clara Williams had an eye on it the entire time. Full extension for Clara Williams for the save. 16-20 and counting in the first half. And we're still at four. Corner on the ground. Looking for... For some assistance and a passing partner just inside the 18 wasn't there. Sequoia's defense was, but Lasseter regains possession all the way into their half. Campbell stole. Is there for Lasseter. Brooke Brantley. Turnover for Lasseter. Here comes Sequoia. Trying to work down the right-hand side. Opportunity in the middle, but it's two on five. Having to regroup was Savannah Harvey, one of the co-captains, senior co-captains. And we've got a foul called on Lasseter. Harvey with one of her first touches in the first half here. As we're in the 25th minute, it's going to be a set piece. From about 45 yards away. Looking toward the six, one hop, and it's easily handled by Claire Carson. Three Chiefs were there. A lot of defenders were there for Lasseter, but it was a very convenient hop for Carson. She picks it up and sends it into the attacking half. Schellenbarger fighting for it, but coming away with it. Naya Dorsey now at the back. Two Dorseys working down the right-hand side. Whitgen looking for Campbell Stoll. Stoll sticks with the play, tries to regain possession for Lasseter, and they do. Simone Dorsey, 45 yards from goal, sprints past the defender, trying to come inside the 18, cuts it back. Opportunity is there. Left foot, spin, turn, fire and wide. Susie Carson with the opportunity. Marked very, very tightly. Tried to find herself some space. Ended up firing with the right, but just missed to the near post. Coming up on 14 minutes to go in the first half. It's 4-0. Williams. Quick pass, trying to work out of the back, but Lassiter's defense is there. Sequoia trying to close on a three-on-one situation. They do to regain possession. Down the right-hand side. And Marin McCarty will throw it in for Sequoia. Trying to get out of trouble. Madison Rejecki, it was a one-on-two. She could not. Lasseter trying to find Simone Dorsey down the right-hand side. It goes to Clara Williams instead. Williams 
long ball, and she was looking for Allie Williams. Williams initially controlled it, but she couldn't turn on the defender. And it was Nia Dorsey, the junior, who was there to regain possession for Lassiter down the right-hand side. I'm going to get a foul call on Simone Dorsey off of the throw away from the ball. So it's going to be a free kick as we're now about 12 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Goal in the first two minutes made it 1-0. Joyner with her fourth on the season about two minutes later made it 2-0. McLean Dixon scored to make it 3 and then Simone Dorsey scored to make it four, and that's where we are. Twelve and a half minutes to go here first half here in the 28th minute. We have the Dorsey sisters on the right-hand side. The throw was defended that time by Rejecki, who is all over the place for Sequoia here in the first half. 